because like it was rough like for the first two months da, 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 da. and then like once March hit she's like I've never been so friggin busy and like things are going I'm like that's great to hear that the market's moving somewhere so yeah. uh, it's interesting but yeah aspects like you would never think that oh man money's tight I should probably pull back my market that's that's it's actually the reversed yeah, and we and there and there's lots of graphs and data to support what you're saying. Absolutely, that when the when the when the market is down, you still the the companies that that continue to push through are 76 percent better off than those that pull back and go lean. Right. So right, you know the all you're doing is pulling back and you're pulling back into your shell. Right. Yeah, that's a tough spot. You know, and I and I get it. I mean, again, oh, I, I'm speaking from it. I mean, I've been there. I've made, I've been on both sides. I've I pushed through. And I'm, and I've also pulled back at other times, and and when I when I'm pushed through, I've been better off. And it sounds like that's what you guys did to double down on your marketing. And yep, and, and on the other side, now you guys are known as one of the premier, you know, yeah. SEO yeah. agent website resources. So yeah, kudos to you guys. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> so what what do you what do you do? Well, I mean, you're in Los Angeles, so what do you um you know family fun? What do you do outside of? I mean, I know this this keeps you busy for you know, but yeah, about five hours a week or so. Uh, oh, so I was it was actually uh, the amount of time I'm on the road is is almost fifty fifty. So when I'm home, it's a lot of rest. But I mean, having said that, uh, if I can make a Dodger game, I am at a Dodger game. That okay. that is the place where you know I'm at peace or on the golf course. Okay, so there's plenty of good golf in Los Angeles and up and down. Of course, it's in California. Oh yeah. And even when I come to a place like this, I'm like, oh, what are we going to do? Find the spot. So Wednesday, we're going to the Sillies game. Now we're going to make oh, yeah. that happen. Yeah. You, you got to like get out there and experience new things. And like even here, uh, this is a beautiful city that I have never like, you know, kind of checked out. And I got to walk around a lot yesterday, see a lot of the historical stuff, Liberty Bell. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, a, it's, it's a great... interesting. I've never been here and it's it's a pretty amazing city. Yeah, on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. You're, a few, you're, you're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, you're a couple of miles. It's a little away. different. Right. It's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, good stuff. Yeah. So so we're we're golfing. We're yeah. Here we're we're going to baseball games. Absolutely. In our front. So I know you you were doing the recent things. Take us back before. Now are you Los Angeles? You're born and raised. I mean, what'd you do before uh, into the into the due diligence work? I mean, I I was. I, Originally grew up, born and raised in Bakersfield, California. Bakersfield, big oil and gas. Oil and gas, a lot of farmland, et cetera. Uh, and then went to the University of Arizona. Um, big football and wrestling town, too, in Bakersfield. Yeah. Oh, very big. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, from there, it was, it was wandering. Like, yeah, once you get out, you know, I'm, I was aimless until I got into the due diligence because the the, the real estate aspect of the due diligence that I was doing, that's what really kind of got me going. Before that, I was pretty aimless. I mean, I was, I was, you know, bartending, you know, it's teeny. And fun. I mean, we're 20, 20, 22, 23. What are, you, what are you supposed to do? But I will say this, you know, working in like the service industry of like being a server, mm -hmm. uh, being a bartender or managing or whatever it is, the, uh, the skills that you actually are utilizing, learning, and yeah, honestly, you're sharpening, right? On a daily basis, on the job. Yeah. Those things are things that you can't necessarily teach. Right. Right? So that's why I've seen so many salespeople that have come in that were former, former bartenders, former mm -hmm. servers, da da da, because they can multitask. They can, yeah. you know, think quick on their feet, right? Uh, they tend to have a great personality because. That's how they get the money, right? And so it's a, it's almost like a natural transition. Yeah, and yeah. that's a, uh, and we we find that too that the that the you know servers people in hospitality. I mean, Jerry, you know that ultimately the the customer is always right, and right. and even when you think they're not right, and even when they're not right, they're still right. And you ultimately have to have to right figure out a way to please, you know, without. I don't know being on how do I bend the knee without yeah. breaking my leg here. No, right. I think. <laughs> right. That's the I mean, that's the that's the job I think in any business. Sure. You sure. Not just in the in, in the real estate industry or in the website industry. I think that's in any industry. And I, I think uh if you're if you are, you know, a small business owner, right? And the way I always 
when I have when I have my clients, especially the the when I say younger clients, I mean the ones that are just need to real estate. I th- don't forget that <laughs> you are the company. You're the right. company. You are the CEO. You're the brand. You're everything. You are the brand. You're the marketing. You're you're all of that. Mm-hmm. Until like you figure out people that you can hire to do some of those things for you, uh, you got to learn all that. Right. And uh, when it comes to like you said, you know, small business stuff, you are your own small business, and it's up to you how how you want to grow it from there. Yeah. If you don't have an assistant, you are the assistant. Yeah. You can. Yeah. yeah. Figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. You got to figure it out. You're the marketing director, like you said, the sales manager, the ops manager. The hold on, let me get Melvin. Oh, hi, this is Melvin. Oh, you want something, Dale? Right, right. Let me <laughs> get him around. It. Let me get him for you. Right, come right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spin around. Exactly. Like Clark Kent. Yeah, exactly. exactly. With the phone booth, you come back out. <laughs> All right. So, white where do you see? Where do you see yourself? Where do you see Age and Image in the next? You know, you've been there ten years. Where do you see the company and yourself? Um, Nothing in your role, you know, five years from now. I uh, I see it continuing to grow. To be honest with you, uh, the things that we're working on, and the tools and the ecosystem that we we're trying to build as well. Um, we always have done things where we we think about uh, best in class. Right? It's hard to ever go somewhere where they do everything the best. Right? Right? Uh, I always say like, if you go to a restaurant. Maybe they're great at steak, but the side side or the side sour, or the bread yeah. awful, whatever it is. Yeah. But if you are able to utilize a company like ours and a company that does CRM the best, company that does, oh, they have this funnel system that I really like and it's easy to use, da 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 da. Those are the things we want to be able to say, hey, by the way, we've done our due diligence on all these other companies. Just so you know, the, me seeing these right here, these are great companies. You should check these out. Not necessarily that we we're looking to be the end-all, be-all for everyone. Mm-hmm. But I think there, that there is something to be said for the um, education aspect of it. Nobody, uh, when you, whenever, you, whenever you go through and you get your license as, a, as an agent, you, know, you pass your test or anything, uh, there's, no, there's no information on it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you used Salesforce or like have you used the CRM right. system before? Oh yeah, they don't teach that in the class. Right. How, how, what about marketing? What do you know about marketing? Right. It, it, none of that's really. They got like, I think I might. Right. How they supposed? To... I heard that. Oh, I heard that word before. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think a lot of the things that we're focused on, at least right now, and in, in the next you know few years, are providing educational items as well as tools like we're working on right now that's actually free to use, access, you go to access.com. Okay. That's something that's been in the works for a bit and it's ready. Uh, it's a presentation platform. Okay. So listing presentations, digital open houses. Um, these are things that you know are for the agents. And I say for the agents by the agents because we use their feedback. Mm-hmm. Hey, what am I missing here? Yeah, right. I'll go to either whether it's our huge clients that you know you see on TV, or even like some of the ones that have just been killing it for years. Hey, what would you put in this that I'm missing? Yeah, that's that's why you know when we go through things, whether it's building a new platform website or this you know access, it it is truly built with the agents directly in mind. I feel that you get the feedback. So see what see what Christoph has to say. Yeah. Make some adjustments, right? <laughs> Christoph always has something to say. Right, well, he's got a lot to say. Yeah. Right, he's the best. Yeah. So no, that's good stuff, man. Yeah. So um, let me. Oh, let me hold on. Let me see. Yeah, a quote of the day. Listen, at at great. All right. It takes twenty years to build a reputation and five minutes to ruin it. If you think about that. They'll do things differently. Warren Buffett. That's similar. That has a lot to do with what we just talked about. That's amazing. Yeah. We're gonna have to forward that. To yeah. So I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna send it to like you see. I'm gonna slack that to the entire company. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're. That's what you're saying. You, you're, you guys are spending a lot of time on the service and on their the training, relationship, their training, and then and then the business comes. You know, because you you said yourself, you're not a, a you're not. Overselling, overselling, overselling. Right. You're just serving, 
and and then it's amazing how that works. The universe works. If they know you're the services is here, then the the business will come. Yeah.